I'm in the Florida Keys to help someone find their lost wedding ring. Finding this ring would mean the world to this couple. Your daughter's husband. Aaron. They're Aaron. both Aaron. Oh, they are? Aaron and Aaron. Aaron. No yeah. way, that's crazy. <laughs> My daughter and uh, son-in-law were out here cleaning fish. I don't know if she was just throwing heads and guts or whatever, and all of a sudden, uh, his ring was gone off of the cutting board where he had laid it. So I imagine it got stuck in some of whatever, and it's out there. And they just got married to that day before. Oh man, that's unfortunate. So the only reason I know about this is because of my buddy Alex. He's like a local legend here. He loves to rescue people's stuff and give it back to him for free. So we're teaming up in hopes of finding this lost wedding ring. If you enjoy the video and you wanna see more, drop a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. But we're gonna head underwater and hopefully we get lucky. We're honestly their last hope. I'm using my waterproof metal detector and a scuba compressor called the Nomad. With almost zero visibility, the challenges we face are also alligators, sharks, and jellyfish. Let's go ahead and try our best. Good luck. Let's do this thing. Let's bring it home. Searching for this ring is honestly very, very difficult. I can't see a lot right now. The water's super murky. The bottom is very silty. It's gonna be a once in a lifetime find, but I'm gonna try my best. Hey, still a fish on it, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're bringing it off. Maybe they're bringing it off. Wow, thank you. Yeah. I got some signals. Yeah. As I'm going around right now, I'm just listening for the metal detector to sound off. It's either going to be a can or maybe even the ring. I just got done finding that fishing pole, which I thought was pretty cool. But let's keep at it, and hopefully we get lucky. <laughs> So right now I'm getting stung by a bunch of jellyfish, honestly hurting pretty bad, but I'm gonna push through it and keep trying to find this ring for him because I want to bring it home. Conditions are super challenging. I myself got out the water, really, really murky, can't see nothing. Jake's still inside there, I, I give it to him because that's very hard to be in there. And he's trying his hardest to find that ring. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he does. So we're just sitting back and watching. <laughs> I got stung in the face by a jellyfish. It hurts so bad. <laughs> All right, let's keep searching. Jake's been in that water. He's been hunting. He's been stirring it up. He's been getting bit by jellyfish. Uh, I don't think he's found the ring yet. He did come up with the fishing pole. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that he comes up with that ring. Just located a signal, let's see what it is. So I just found the ring, I'm putting it inside my wetsuit. I'm gonna come up to the surface and act like I don't have it and we're gonna surprise them. Let's do this thing. To give you guys an update, 
I am getting stung by jellyfish every time I'm underneath the water. My face is just lit up right now. Woo! Woo! Hit me, hit me with, a, with, a, with a direct hit. Yeah! Woo! Oh yeah, we got a big sinker. Y'all fishing down there? Yeah. No, I don't know if I've ever had one that big. Right here. And looks like I got a can of something. But that was about it. You know, I tried my best. I was getting stung up by jellyfish out there. It was terrible. I'm, I'm sitting down there. I can't see nothing. Zero visibility. And uh, I will say, we came on top. <laughs> I'm like shaking you. you gotta, oh, wow. Yeah. No, wait, I gotta get you. gotta hit right. you once wow. and you have to he shows me here. Oh my god. <laughs> you said we had to FaceTime it. Hold on. All right, let's give a go. <laughs> I knew it. That we did oh awesome. my god. Hey, I couldn't and do it without you. You worked hard, brother. Let me tell you that. <laughs> I was a little nervous, wow. man. <laughs> Been out there for a while. I was getting stung up by jellyfish and everything. I tried my very best, and uh, I hate to say it, but we got it. <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> So I found your ring, buddy. I know, I was trying to mess with you guys. You guys just got married a week and a half ago. I am so thrilled that I was able to find it for you guys. What does this like mean to you to be able to get this back in your hands? Oh man. <laughs> She's gonna start crying I mean, now. We, we were just going, we were like, whatever, we'll just buy a new one. We went through so much to get down to the Keys to get yeah. to our wedding day. I mean, literally so many bad things happened. We were just like, we'll just buy a new one. But yeah. then my brother was like, it's so sentimental it's your first ring like we have to kind of, we have to try yeah and so then i found alex the ring finder yep yep and then you kind of just fell into our laps too so it's just that's what a blessing. Yeah, it's awesome. I will tell you guys, I would not be out here without Alex. He put me on the spot. Very thankful and such a cool day to get out here. Brother, he's the, he's the man. He's the man. That's amazing. He's Thank the you man. so oh. much. Thank you guys. So if you lost something that you would like for me to find completely for free, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a ring, a camera, literally anything. Feel free to email me. My email's on screen. It's findmylostvaluables at yahoo.com. It's also in the description below. I want to thank Alex here. He's a local guy. He finds everyone's treasures here in Key West. And if you're here and you lose something, he's gonna probably help you out. It's a blessing to have Jake with me. For him to be able to find it, it's incredible. He did a lot of work. He, he really worked for that ring. Awesome stuff, very good. If you wanna check out some of his amazing finds, go to his Facebook. I'll have it linked in the description below and tell him Jake sent you. I don't know how he did that. That's all I know. I do this for a living and I don't even know how he did that one. That one was the hard one. <laughs> hey, I'll be honest, I wasn't too sure either. I was like, I'm leaving empty handed, y'all. Yes, that's a hard one. Good job, brother. Thank Good you, job. Man. Thank you. Yeah. No, you take no, that no, one. No, don't you take, take this one. No. You take this no. one. Come on. No, I know no, what it costs to live down here. No, no, no. I appreciate the offer, the money. I just love helping people and I love making videos and my subscribers support me so much where I'm able to use that money to help other people. And I just want you guys to keep your money. You know, we're out here to have a good time, find things for free, keep it going. And with the support from everyone on these videos, I always leave likes and comments and just boost the video up. And I'm able to help as many people as possible. Well, so you guys got, keep it. I really appreciate it. If and you I'm believe in karma, time. you've got good karma. Yeah. Karma. <laughs> Thanks, man. I All appreciate right. it. Hey, You're welcome. You what an incredible day. Great story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you guys did. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. But I'll catch you on the next one. one. Thank you so much. I'm only able to help people find their lost valuables for free because of the amazing support that you all give me on my videos on a day-to-day -day basis. However, if you would like to take that support to the next level, please buy one of my official t-shirts at rivertreasure.com. I'll use 100% of that money to find other people's lost belongings and also to pick up as much trash as I can possibly find underwater. So if you believe in the cause, please check out my website. Thank you so much.